right, all right. I just noticed that uh, I have uh, I have it set up um, that I'm hashtagging art station art competition. I gotta remove that after this trip. Otherwise, I don't know what. Otherwise. A good morning, Quentin and Atsuki. All right. So no weird dream today. <laughs> um, I hate when that happens when you, you when you have like a, a a weird dream that lingers. Hey, Matthias. Welcome. Good morning. So today I think I will be doing um, warm up again, uh, as in uh, cover zone. That was the name. Hey, the hero John, welcome back. Glad to see you around again. So I think I will be doing some something. We'll see. Maybe some kind of more. I don't know. I'm kind of seeing someone in a in a corridor. Maybe I'll I'll try to chase that. Uh, we'll see. Um, that's cool, Hero John. Uh, that's great. Hey, good morning, Karathi. All right. So let's start the timer. The time is now, and. Um, so I saw like a corridor of some sort and someone walking in it. So let's see where. Hey, Georg, good morning. Oh, you've been in a hospital. All right. Um, I hope uh, you're all fine now. The topic today, uh, Kilrathi, is a uh, comfort zone yet again um, but for some reason I saw a person in a hallway so I'm gonna be chasing that today uh, hey Maxi welcome back you're on time So uh, I think I'll, I'm just going to go with the flow um, and not try to repaint a lot, but whatever, whatever is in here stays here now. And, uh, and let's see how, how far I can... Uh... Hey there, Hero John. Thanks for the host. Much appreciated. Uh, and let's see where, where I can take it um, just by, by moving forward rather than repainting, right? So the idea for some reason was I saw just someone it was more like sneaking but uh, I decided for some reason that it's not going to be sneaking now but some sort of something in the hallway so we're going to go with that and a cast shadow, and I kind of saw it as a, as a slightly as a fisheye. So let's just kind of go for it. So the the art station competition was finished. I I, um, I did a little bit like. A, post-mortem on it uh, in my mind like how, how it went uh, some of the mistakes I did um, and, 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 and so on to, to just to try to kind of learn from from, uh, from the experience I think the biggest would be um, that uh, I really need more time uh, 
to to take it to a level where where I'm very happy with the work. I mean, I'm still very happy with what I produced, but it's far from uh, my best of my best performance in that sense. That uh, all the line art was very just decent rather than polished. You know, there was no beauty pass. There was no nothing on on the concepts. They were just uh, basics, and that that kind of was decent, right? So in that, in that sense, also I'm uh, I'm quite uh, I'm quite happy also that uh, about the end result. So so it's a little bit of like a mixed bag, right? Uh, one thing that I'm glad about is the cohesive cohesive. Mm that they all the characters are cohesive that they stick together I would probably have designed some characters differently if I properly designed them with uh, three versions each uh, so that that I think is also another thing that I, I didn't appreciate is that I couldn't fully flesh out the designs because there wasn't time for it, right? I just had to go with it and uh, with first version, more or less, on most characters. I, kn I know that some, I think on two, I redrew them um, just because they were too weak, right? So I had to make the, the judgment call to... Uh, having to redraw it. Uh, but ideally I would have loved to really flesh out the design, you know, do variations, do, do uh, like a proper proper design work on all of them. But 10 characters in that time limit with um, that limited amount of spare time, I couldn't have. So I think post-mortem wise, I think uh, I think that decision was uh, a valid decision of just kind of not to be too precious about my abilities, but just to having to perform something that um, that's interesting. Awake on message popped up saying your Wacom is not compatible with this pet for some reason. Yeah, so I think that is an interesting aspect as well. <coughs> anyway, so that being said, I think uh, with all the, the kind of retrospective thoughts about performance and, and what I did with the concepts and how they how they are cohesive and so on, I think that that's pretty good. I think I'm fairly happy, uh, a solid um, maybe 8 out of 10 when it comes to uh, performance on my end. Um, but um, I had a look at the next stage of the competition because the competition itself is um, first that starts off is concept stage, right? Which I was part of, a part of. But now is uh, the 3D stage, and you can do a real-time model or um, like a rendered model, right? So that doesn't need to be like a playable character. So you can go and look at all the submissions. Uh, like people choose all the concepts from um, the concept art stage, and. Uh, and then they choose what to, which of the concepts to model. And of course, you're allowed to, as a modeler, you're allowed to um, change up the concept if if you ask if the original artist is fine with it. So what's cool? I had a look yesterday. Uh, I mean, it, it's very early days. I mean, I'm, I'm quite sure there's going to be a lot more submissions. Um, people wanting to do 3D for the competition is just started. Uh, but um, 
a lot of them have already chosen many of mine. Uh, I think the, the most popular ones are the centipede and the, the captain of the black folk, the, the human side. And uh, there was one guy who started modeling the huntress, one guy that started modeling the, the breacher, that big creature with the horns everywhere. Hey, Jordi, good morning. Hey, Jacob Mobley. Oh, there's a, another girl who's doing the rendered character part rather than a, a real-time character. And she's doing the, the big lady, the big uh, wise, wise lady. So that's cool. We'll see. Well, um, I'm, I um, there is a function you can click follow, and you get notifications when they update. So uh, I I went to all everyone's uh, thread uh, that I saw that had chosen my concept and uh, wrote a little message to them, wishing them uh, good luck and. Um, so now, whenever they update, I'll, I'll, I get an update so I can go look at what they're doing. Hey, Svensson, good morning. Oh, thank you very much, Jordi. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you like it. It was a fun design to do. Even though I would love to properly design it, I just, I just had to be okay with, with, with what had been produced, and not really, <laughs> wasn't really able to change anything. So it was a good challenge, I think. Yeah, I learned from something from it. Hey, Eric, good morning. Um, Jacob Mobley, yeah, you should, this, um, you should have finished. It's a good um, now. Maybe it's a good motivator for you for uh, next time they have the art station challenge. Um, it's a really good way. Like I, you know, I had to participate um, because I've always been been talking about how important it is to join art art competitions. Um, that you always come out of it. Um, stronger and um, even though I'm 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 a veteran <laughs> in the industry um, I don't know if I'm regarded as a veteran but 10 years down the line probably I'm no I'm no what's called spring chicken is that the saying um, anyway so, so I still learn from it you know it's still educational to, to push yourself to that degree um, to to put your uh, neck on the line as well you know to, to say like I'm a working professional uh, I'm up for anyone uh, to try to to win over me right so in a way it's in, in reverse it's a, a kind of a, like a measuring contest of a demeasuring contest. 
Um, oh, in, 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 in that sense, it's fine. I think it's a really good way to having to apply yourself, having to to make sure that what you're doing is is to the best of what you can produce at the moment, and uh, so that you can't sweep it under a rug, saying, "Oh, uh, you know, everyone has excuses." As you heard, uh, so do I. Um, but at least I, you know, I passed the finish line, um, and uh, whatever was produced during this period, I'm, I'm quite satisfied with. So that, that at least I have that right. I did what what I could do with the, the allotted time uh, I had. So I, I'm, I'm pleased with the effort given, you know. And it's a really good way to to uh, level up. Hey, Sayark, welcome back. Hey, dear Bard, I'm glad that you could make it. Uh, Jacob Mobley, yeah, I know. Uh, I was lucky enough to spot it starting. Jordy, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy to come up with something uh, every day and uh, produce something of uh, some sort of quality. <laughs> it requires some sort of... Um, you have to. I think what's important is that you're you're trusting your process, uh, but that can only come with practice, right? That, that you, you you're comfortable in what you're doing and you can just do something on autopilot. I think it's uh, a good practice. Oh. Hey, Novio, welcome back. Dear Bard, yeah, for now it's back to random topics. Um, I felt that um, doing all this uh, a lot of um, art station challenge, a lot of uh, freelance, sorry, I'm going to cough, <coughs> all, the, all those things kind of messed with my head a lot and um, I felt like all right let's just decompress for a few days and um, and uh, and I'll, I'll think over the the weekend with your guys uh, help on uh, Saturday stream on um, on what to to do next right Uh, so I, I didn't want to stress and and try to figure out yet another thing, another project to instantly kick off <laughs> as as art station wrapped. Um, but uh, it's coming. Whatever whatever is next is coming, right? Um, so bear with me, right? So I think on Monday is going to be. Uh, Um, new project probably. And Ovio, I, I use gradient maps sometimes, but lately I've been playing around with uh, select color range and, and gradient uh, color balance. Um, not really. It's just something I've been messing around with, and, and uh, I'm kind of enjoying the ability to go and uh, inject um, inject some um, colors here and there by by doing color range. You should do that, Jacob Mobley. It's a great, great practice, great thing to do to uh, 
to um, up your game. But but I would still try to uh, schedule in amount of time that you have to to work on them. So it's not just um, you taking your sweet time uh, and not feeling pushed, because through pressure comes uh, um, you dig you dig deeper, right? And and you have to perform a lot stronger than if you know that you there's no time limit now, right? And it's an important aspect of of being in a competition, the, this kind of time pressure. So I would I would try to to still keep a really tight schedule. So if you say you, you came in a week and a half too late, you now have a week and a half left, right? So image adjustment variations. So let's see what variations are. Are they here? Vibrance. Oh, you're using um old I think variations isn't around anymore it was a older oh yeah variations is still there that's pretty cool I used to use variations a lot back in like Photoshop 6 I think I didn't know it was still there well that was vibrance Image adjustment variations. Variations. And so what it is, you can go up and down in temperature, darker and lighter, and you can uh, increase or decrease. So you can just go more yellow, uh, more cyan, and you get to see the results, right? And that's the kind of way it works. Then you could go lower, a little bit more of that, a little bit more of red, and then you click OK, and then you have your variation. Uh, dear Bard, yeah. This is not Adobe CC, this is uh, Photoshop 6, 7. Six. Don't. But I don't have CC. So I feel like the mood is being lost a bit. I kind of want yellow. I want to have yellow in there, like sick yellow for some reason. Hey, Gila. Welcome. You're back. Glad to have you back. That's way too bright. I need to lower the brightness of that. A little bit more orange, maybe. Yeah, there we go. I like that yellow way more. I just want it to be a little bit sick like. I hear my son doing some, some bullshit. Why does he have to do it when I'm streaming? Because I know as I'm streaming and I can't walk away. Um, so. I've been thinking about how to make more interesting designs. So I have the, been a lot of thumbnails trying different shapes. Is that the right approach? Is it at all about trusting your own taste, looking at things, or is there something else to it? Um, Gila, well, the thing with that is like thumbnailing, right? Is that you're ex uh, you're you're extending yourself on multiple variations, right? So you're trying a, an idea, you're trying an idea, you're trying an idea out. Um, and if you're just doing thumbnails for like, like in chaos, like ah, oh, I just need to do shapes fast, fast, fast. You're not gonna learn anything. The idea about thumbnailing is is 
stay abstract, as in don't try to think about what you're drawing, that this needs to be shoelaces, this needs to be uh, the arm. Just do shapes that looks and reads interesting, right? So when you've captured the shape combination and value combination, like if you're boiling it, boiling it down to three values, so that when you, you when you have that uh, basic um, design that you just looks good, it doesn't need to you don't need to know exactly what you're looking at. It just needs to be good. Uh, one second, I need to call my kid. Uh, you, are you gonna hear me screaming a bit? Hugo, what you do? What for shikte? Yeah, sorry about the increase in volume. Yeah, anyway, so that when you're, you're when you're trying out uh, thumbnail um, thumbnailing is to 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 try out variations in shapes that you so that you don't spend half a day designing something. And what you're doing at the same time as you're practicing thumbnailing is that you're practicing your your own taste your own shape language right so that from for me for example I don't need to do thumbnailing anymore because I've been doing it for years and years and years and uh, that uh, that aspect of thumbnailing shapes um, you know playing with value playing with in, uh, outside silhouette and inside silhouette and so on it's automatic now that's that way of thinking and I and I kind of know myself um, what I like and don't like. So one thing, for example, also if you're if you're getting um, becoming like a seasoned artist and you feel stagnating, uh, one great way to to inf infuse some more um, new new life into your art is to do thumbnailing because uh, if you do thumbnailing with a mood board on shapes that you usually don't like to use you're gonna having to force new shapes into your own uh, native language of, of you know like what you prefer to draw what shapes do you prefer to draw so it's a really like clever way to, to, to hack yourself a little bit <laughs> no view art, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I heard him using a knife, so I thought it was uh, it was time to ask what he was up to. And he said uh, he said he was making bread. Then I told him, "All right, just be careful." <laughs> I could hear the blade hitting the tabletop. There, Bart. <laughs> yes, Swedish. No. So I think all in all, I think it's a really good way of, of uh, practicing your skill set. And uh, I had talked about this on the I my IFCC lecture, the like importance of uh, art challenges and community. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, on the topic of community. Um, I uh, noticed um, that um, I need to check up on this. I I, uh, I only read about it a little bit uh, before the stream. I need to like properly uh, do research, but you could probably uh, design and code your own widgets to Discord, which means if if I'm able to code my own widget. Maybe I could make sub channels per artist. I think that would be that would be amazing. Or maybe someone that programs could program that widget for me for a for a a gold coin or two. But I think that would be amazing if that that's if that's possible. That would be ace. 
just like widget it rather than than sit and wait for some sort of uh, update from uh, Discord. Yeah, Sarah, I want to have like a sketchbook section on the Discord per, per username. So if any user wants a sketchbook on Discord, you know, where they post their art, uh, I think that would be a really cool um, updated version of a forum. But, uh, but in one way, you know, this, what, share your art channel now is cool uh, but share your art sub channel say art you know that could also be cool and you could see you know it would be a little bit more personal and it would be a little bit more face to face in a way or rather than just being um, you know hey Captain Jetlag by the way Um, Captain Jetlag about the widget? I don't know. Uh, Novio, yeah, voice channel is free for all in Discord. Um, so if you want to go and talk on the Discord, I think all you need to do is just uh, go there and you can talk. Uh, we haven't used it that much on 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 in the community because uh, we used to do it in the beginning of the of the community, but I think everyone was just busy and and it wasn't really a good timing for it. This is what was uh, created today. Some weird hallway man. Hey Flow Wizard, you just joined at the very end of the stream. Uh, if you want to join in, it's the same time next tomorrow, but minus 30 minutes. So 30 minutes back now, from now, uh, next tomorrow, is the start of the stream. Um, Dear Bar, they say now that the next update, more or less, will have uh, screen sharing. Or it's, they're working on it, at least. Dear Bar, so that's cool. Yeah, Jordi, time's up already. Um, yeah, screen sharing on Discord gonna be amazing. Yeah, yes, they are. It was very awkward at the beginning, but it's it's always been the same same thing as it again. Uh, uh, Novio, if you want to be talking tomorrow, yeah, that's cool, man. Let's do that. We can do that on Skype even. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Captain Jetlag, almost. Um, yeah, so thanks everyone for joining in. Uh, time is up. Have a fantastic day. Uh, and Novio, just hit me up on Skype before the stream. And I want to try, uh, before the stream, I want to try a thing if we, I can't do split screen. Um, so what you've got to do tomorrow, if you're up for drawing, uh, I'll, I'll, I will call before the stream and I'll try to figure something out. Um, anyways. Thanks everyone for coming. Uh, good night, good day. Have a fantastic until next time. And um, catch you on Discord. Link for Discord is underneath the stream on Twitch. So uh, have a fantastic space banana day. <laughs> All right. Bye everyone. Uh, outro time.